How's it going YouTubers? Thank you for joining me for another video today. Uh, and today we're looking at uh, the, the spider wheel again. Um, and we're just going to look at the setup. Um, and basically how to do a few things. Uh, when I first got the wheel, um, there isn't any instructions as such inside the box that you get with this. Uh, so I am just going to show you um, a few little tips and tricks, a few little setup options. And then I'm going to show you exactly what I've got um, set up on Forza. So I'm just pull that back a little bit and make sure I don't knock it so it's nice and still for you guys. So basically, um, gear up, gear down. You've got all your buttons on the front here. Um, and anybody that's not checked the v review, at the end of this video, you're going to see um, the review. Uh, and and you, you, there'll be a link to the review even. Um, and you've got your D-pad here. And you've got all these buttons. You've got a few buttons on the back. And as you can see, you've got this, this white light here. So keep your eye on this white light because this is what's going to tell us what we're doing. So every time you plug in uh, this particular wheel, um, you are going to have to do some setup um, for yourself to make sure it is down with the settings that you want. Uh, the TX wheel does store some of it, but they still do have to do some of the uh, the manual setup. Um, I have been racing with this since um, since the end of December, so probably nearly a month now, and I am getting there with it. Uh, it it's, it's quite a long process. Uh, there's quite a few quick races that uh, I know that have got them. Um, and, and it just take you a while. So if you do invest in one of these wheels, please, please, please make sure you bear with it. You are going to be slower. You're going to struggle to handle the car initially. Um, but once you're in the zone and you've got the handling down and different things like that, and you can really start to push the boundaries, you will start to see some significant uh, improvement, um, especially if you do endurance races. Um, I'm currently doing uh, an endurance race with Stella. Um, and I'm noticing that because we're using drag tyres, so you've got the, the actual um, uh, wear on the wheels, um, that I'm actually lasting a couple of laps longer than, than some of the other guys, uh, depending on the car setup, etc. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, I've just got, as you can see in the background, uh, Forza just running, uh, just, just there, just ignore it. Um, because basically you're going to press buttons and it's going to do weird stuff on the screen. So basically, first of all, um, we're going to have a look at how to set up manual with clutch. So as you can see, uh, or, or as you've seen in the in the in the video, I'm not going to move the camera, but I have only just got the two pedals, so I've just got a brake and accelerator. I don't have a clutch. I do prefer manual with clutch, um, and you can actually set that up on the wheel. Um, so you've got your flappy pedals here, and you've got your A button. And if I move my hands like that, so I'm going to press the up lever. Uh, sorry, the up lever, the down lever. So that's up, that's down, uh, and A all at the same time. Keep your eye on this. What? No, down. Huh. I accidentally pressed the Xbox button which is just next to it. Keep your eye on this white light. It's going to flash twice. Okay, so you press all three together. One, two. And that says that it's now taken that the uh, the lever, the paddles are now going to press A as well as um, whatever it is you've configured it to for the gears. Um, it, on a controller, it, I had it set as the bumpers. Um, so, uh, sorry, no, I didn't hide it as X and A, but now it, these are bumpers. It's, it's a little bit confusing. We're not going to the, into the details of that. So, uh, that's manual clutch with A. So now, when you flick a gear, it's going to press the A button automatically and do that rather than having to do it with um, with manual gears with an automatic clutch. You're still getting that extra uh, rev when you're changing gears. Uh, and you can slightly just take a little bit of time pulling them gears back as well. You can still be fairly quick with it. But don't. I, I've had a tendency of flicking it a little bit too quick, and it uh, it does go a little bit crazy and uh, crunches the gears. So just take uh, like a few milliseconds, nothing major, just to do that. So the next up is the sensitivity. Now this is where the difference comes in between this and the TX wheel. The TX wheel has a ridiculous turning circle, which you can actually edit um, on the game itself. And I will show you the setup options shortly. Um, for Forza uh, after we've done this. Now I've been doing it on minimal. There's four settings. Um, there's uh, normal, low, um, is it low? I think it's normal, low, um, uh, extra low and then minimal or something like that. Um, and each one is signified by uh, flashes on here. And to do this it's Y, B and the flappy paddles. So if you do it once it's going to flash twice which means it's onto the, the normal or the low. Three times is the minimal. And then again, uh, sorry, th that was that was the low for three. 
uh, and then four times is the minimal, uh, which is what I prefer to race at at the minute. Uh, in the in the instructions for the um, uh, for the wheel that I found online, um, it actually recommends that you ha either have it on three flashes or four flashes, um, four fours or five. Um, presumably that's just the way it's configured etc um, so that's basically um, the setup of the wheel everything else is done automatically um, I'm not sure in this chain in this setup if you can actually change some of the buttons um, but obviously why still your view in Forza anyway this is still your d-pad uh, you twist this to the left which is like that um, and that is your rear view twist it to the right it brings up the menu and some of the buttons kind of do the same thing um, and remember if you are doing things with you uh, where you have to want to go in the menus if you're doing some tuning just make sure you've got your controller on the side um, because um, you're going to struggle to navigate some of the menus um, with the way we've got the buttons configured so we're now set up for racing um, with the wheel itself so we've got four flashes on here which is at the minute how I prefer to race please do that yourself we've got it set up for the manual clutch um, uh, so yeah uh, manual gears with uh, manual clutch so it's going to do that for us and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, take you into the game and I'll just show you the options that we've got in the game. So here we are at the uh, controller options um, and as you can see um, it, it's got the buttons uh, on there. Um, don't get me wrong, the, the, the pad is still there. Um, just one thing I do need to make you aware of, so you see how we've gone in there and it's got the pad. Um, I've made a little bit of an error but it's good learning process for you guys as well. Um, if you go back to the main screen, uh, press A. It's going to ask you for your profile. That's me. Um, you have to make sure you press A on the wheel to show the wheel for it to load up the wheel. Um, so if you don't do that and you're having issues, just make sure the wheel is actually loaded because then it'll bring in the configuration. So if I go back into here, um, go back to my controller, and it's actually showing the wheel now. Um, <coughs> it's a little issue that or uh, well not an issue but that's a little uh, thing that I had there uh, so you can see here that rumble it's not applicable here so I could turn it on or off but whatever it doesn't make any difference uh, you can switch the gear up and down so you could actually have the up as down and the down as up don't know if that makes any difference if you're left handed uh, you can switch the handbrake and the clutch which we're not bothered about um, you can uh, switch the look back uh, camera um, which is the that little twisty bit that I showed you earlier um, and um, rewind view. Um, don't even know what that is. It is showing that I've got three pedals there, but I actually haven't. I think that's just there. If you did have the three pedals, it would map that automatically for you. So anyway, if we press X on there, and we'll go to the, the options. This is where we're going to show you the dead zones. Uh, this is what I'm running at the moment. Um, I don't know if this is right or wrong, but it seems to be working for me at the minute. Um, uh, if, if I do get any updates, I'll do an updated video. So for the steering axis dead zone, uh, we've got 0 and 95. The acceleration, uh, we've got 15 and 100. Um, just there. Uh, for the deceleration, we've got 15 and 95. Um, so all of this, guys, is, is, is where the dead zone is. So if it's fully on or fully off. Um, and for the, uh, the acceleration, I've just got a little bit there, just a little bit of give so I can push the the pedal a little bit further uh, but it seems to be working for me uh, the clutch is at, at 15 and 90 but I'm not actually using diddly squat with that so that's just as it is handbrake again 10 and 100 I don't even know where the handbrake button is uh, it probably did tell us on the previous screen but I don't use it uh, vibration scale and force feedback scale I don't have uh, please be aware anybody that has got a TX wheel if you do have it on that it will break your teeth um, I know Stella put it on maximum or it's on quite low um, when he's playing the crew or this or something and it pretty much destroyed his desk so do be very careful if you've got the TX wheel that you don't have it on too high because it will just go crazy if it's trapped to a desk that's got other things on it uh, and the uh, wheel rotation angle here uh, is this is what I was just speaking about earlier um, for this wheel we're set at 240 there's nothing I can do about that 240 is 240 um, and um, that's that this is only applicable to the TX wheels the um, because we're on like a bungee cord as opposed to a motor which is what the TX one's got hence why it's quite a significant amount of money we have the sensitivity options um, which we set on the wheel so we don't actually set the rotation angle we just set the sensitivity uh, and that's that guys and um, that's basically uh, the setup of the wheel and um, what I've got in Forza Motorsport 5 uh, if there's any other games um, that are out 
that you'd like me to uh, to have a go with, set it up, let you know what I think, uh, and any adjustments that I make make for those games, such as Horizon 2 um, and uh, the crew and things like that, then please do. There will be videos on something something similar for Project Cars when that's out, and also uh, for Forza Horizon. At, Forza Horizon, Forza 6 when that's out. Um, I'm fairly certain a lot of the, the settings are going to be the same, but who knows, we'll see what happens. Um, so uh, stay tuned guys, um, thank you for all your, your likes, um, your comments uh, and your subscriptions, they're coming in uh, thick and fast these days um, and I really really appreciate it. I am back on the, uh, the, the, the video train, I, I've been slowly dripping them out. Uh, mainly because I've explained in previous videos that I've had a lot of birthdays. I was 30 last week, um, so I've been uh, been celebrating that myself. So I had a little bit of time off, um, but I just wanted to bring this to you because the other video was very popular. A few people did ask about uh, the setup that I've got. Um, so that's it. That's the setup, and that's how to set up the wheel. Uh, there's not an awful lot of videos of how to set up uh, one of these spider wheels. Um, don't forget to check at the end of this video. You can watch the review if you've not seen that, and stay tuned because there is a... Um, a, a build and tune uh, for a D-class car. I'm going to try and go through all the classes, build up a car uh, just for you guys to get the gist of what to change and how to change it and see what you think. Um, anybody that's watching this that hasn't got a wheel, um, then please do watch these the other videos as well because they uh, the, the tunes are for a joypad as well, which I'll explain in those videos. Uh, so until next time, thank you very much. If you like this video, don't forget to throw it a thumbs up, share it, tell a few friends if you think they'll be interested in it. Uh, I want to really try and uh, push my channel this year. Uh, I'm back on the, on the train and we're going to try and bring you some awesome videos. So until next time guys, I shall see you all soon. How's it going YouTubers? Thank you for joining me for another video today uh, and today we're looking at uh, the, the spider wheel again um, and we're just going to look at the setup um, and basically how to do a few things. Uh, when I first got the wheel um, there isn't any instructions as such inside the box that you get with this uh, so I am just going to show you um, a few little tips and tricks, a few little setup options and then I'm going to show you exactly what I've got um, set up on Forza. So let's pull that back a little bit and make sure I don't knock it so it's nice and still for you guys. So basically, um, gear up, gear down, you've got all your buttons on the front here um, and anybody that's not checked the review at the end of this video you're going to see um, the review uh, and, and you, you, there'll be a link to the review even. Um, and you've got your D-pad here and you've got all these buttons, you've got a few buttons on the back and as you can see you've got this, this white light here. So keep your eye on this white light because this is what's going to tell us what we're doing. So every time you plug in uh, this particular wheel, 